What's up everybody? We gotta show y'all my new toy. A 1947 2 in Ford tractor. Somebody's done converted over to 12 volt with the alternator. Yeah, she's a pretty good old rig. I had to clean on the points to get her home. Stuff, but the uh, thing works pretty well for what it is. Saved me something year old tractor. And, uh, yeah, she's pretty neat. Pretty much all original. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna change the oil in it today. Y'all come on with me. Ah, got a big ass square drain plug. And it looks like my inch probably would work on a wrench, but mine's kind of marred up. And one inch wouldn't go on it, so inch and sixteenth does all right. Yeah. It's like it's all gonna go out at once. It's a big old drain plug. No, make it out where I want to right in my face. Oh yeah, every bit of it all at once. That's a drain plug right there. Nice. Yeah, look what a drain plug. That's a good old big in or a big old good. But, uh, yeah, it looks like it's got a gasket still around it. I probably should have picked one of them up, but mine looks like iron, so. Get it put in here. We'll change, put the oil in it, change the filter. Shoot, yeah, what a drain plug. That's when we made stuff. All right. Get the old drain plug back under there. I need more cast iron in that drain plug than most motors nowadays. But uh, what is this? Does anybody know? Leave me a comment. It's like a car key up in here. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It don't leak. I mean, it's a little greasy around it, but yeah. If anybody knows, shoot me a comment. I sure would appreciate it. Yeah, let's get let's get this uh, cartridge filter or whatever, canister filter changed. All right, look like this is the, where your cartridge goes or canister. Looks like it's got a drain, so I'm gonna try to drain it first. Hell, it used to be a nut, but it's been rounded off, so old glass grips is gonna do it. I don't know what to go on here happened. I assume it's gonna drain it. Boom. Maybe splatter it or I don't know. Mm, just doing a little something. Maybe they get the top off of it. Like a top, that's that mate. Oh yeah, yeah, she's doing it. Yeah, she's coming out of there now. Got a bolt holding just the lid on the filter. Yeah. On there. I don't know what the deal is with that. It's just stuck or what. There she went. Oh, it's got a spring in there. I guess holds it down. It's got a little handle on top here. Oh, there's a gasket. My new filter come with a gasket though. There she is. There she is. Alright, got the new side to old. I like they're going to interchange all right. There's a little difference in them. The top's made a little different. Look, this one ain't got that rubber grommet like this one had. So, maybe it just wore out. Maybe it's been different. I don't know. Other than that, I think they're going to work out. So, yeah, let's get them stuck in there. Just a little all around these seals. I don't know if that matters, but can't hurt. Oh, damn. They're all at once. 
I guess that's that. Pretty straightforward. Old one off. All on the new one here too. She wants to tear her bind up when I'm putting it back together. I don't know if that matters, but. Uh, that's huge, yeah. See nothing wrong with none of that? Let me put a little more oil around that edge. You know, just want to spin and put it on there. Well, hold on, I'm messing up here. I think I need to fill the motor full of oil and then fill this canister full of oil, maybe. Kind of makes sense to me. All right. The internet said this thing takes six quarts of uh, 30 weight. A lot of people think that's a big debate, but I'm just going to go with the old 30 weight. Got this, uh, the Rotella. It says heavy duty diesel engine oil, but I mean, it's all the 30 weight to add, so it's what we're going with. Surely, if it's good enough for that, it's good enough for this old rig. She's thick, I know that. It's gonna take forever. Ah, man, she got six quarts of 30 weight in her. I'm put a little in here. See what it does. It's bound to help. Right, I think she's getting full now. Now, yeah, let's see how this goes. Put the gap back on. Put a cap back on. Put the boat back in it. Down. I reckon she should be good to go. All right, got her full of oil. New filter. Let's see what kind of oil pressure we got. No battery cable on it. Turn the gas on. I don't know if all these got to screw it all the way out or not. It's a bunch of turns. There we go. Running on like a top. I sure appreciate y'all's time watching. Y'all have a good.